Let's move on to number six cylinder exhaust valve spring. This is the hardest cylinder to do anything at. So what I'm looking at is the clearance between the valve and the brake booster. I don't know if this tool is gonna fit in here. I hope it does because if it don't, then we're gonna have to take the cylinder head off. Apparently it looks like we're getting away with something here. So this is a really good, good for us. This is a plus actually here. It's just we're gonna have a little hard time, but we got the tool to fit in there, so we just gotta compress it. So this one is not your norm. I'm getting the spring to compress and you see the position you have to put your hands in. But this here is extremely tight so we have to be careful we don't bend the valve stem. So we can see what's going on here. This side didn't actually grab the spring so that's why we're having this problem. So let's reset the tool. Let's take a second try. So we're going to have to hold this claw in right here with our hand. This is very, very hard. So this here is impossible. Can't get the spring out with this brake booster here. To get to the spring you have to disassemble this whole brake booster so this tool could work. So we're not even going to mess with this brake booster. We're going to fabricate another tool to get the spring out. So we're going to leave that impossible one for last. And what we're going to do, we're going to start on this one here. So let's get some air in that cylinder. So since we're working on a truck and it's up high, it's not gonna be easy for you to get to this stuff. So you're going to want to lower the vehicle by taking the tires off. So you're going to want to be careful when you're using your prying bar on these edges. You just want to make sure you don't roll them too much. You want to check it, make sure it's completely flat. So when you're going to be doing the valve stem seal, when you have the seal removed, you want to make sure you grab all the valve and try to see if you can move the stem inside of the guide. You really shouldn't have any kind of movement or play 
except the clearance that's necessary need for moving the valve up and down. You see how this tape got stuck on the valve stem? So that what could happen to the seal when you're installing it. It could get hooked on the lock where the keeper go and it could chafer the seal. So now once we have that in place, we're gonna replace our spring. We wanna make sure we use the oil. Don't forget to use oil. You don't wanna use any substitute for the oil. Now we want to make sure we drop our spring so it's seated in its groove on the cylinder head. And we just want to put a keeper in so it locks on the stem. That's it. Let's release the spring. We are back at cylinder number six exhaust valve. And this tool basically have reached its limit in replacing, helping us replace the valve stem seal on this side but it will still be good to use for the right side so now the customer is coming for this vehicle and we got to get this vehicle done today because we want to get this vehicle out of the shop plus we want to get paid we can't wait for another tool or take off this brake booster so we have to fabricate something to get this valve stem seal replaced so the only way to go is to basically copy the engineer from the factory rocker arm. And what I've come up with is I'm gonna use this wrench and I'm basically just gonna place it right there. I'm gonna use the pedestal shaft for the rocker arm on the exhaust side. And what I did is I just placed a couple roll of electric tape around here. I just rolled it a couple times. I'm gonna place this here. I'm going to put this bolt back in. Then I'm going to put this one here. So we have the washer left there already. And what I want to do is, I just don't want to leave these two bolts. I want to make sure I run these bolts down about 15 turns. Because remember, we're going in to aluminum. And we want to make sure we have a good bite on the bolt because we don't want to pull the aluminum threads out. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put all the bolt in just to ease the pressure that's going to be applied to the bolts. So with all the bolts in place, I just want to lift the pedestal up by hand and make sure they kiss the nut, the top of the bolt. This way I know the load is spread evenly. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull on this end and you see what happened here? You might have a chance to remove the valve spring. Let's pressurize the cylinder. So we have removed the key from the stem lock and this tool is still under some pressure so we're going to release the bolt on the shaft 
to get the tool off. We must pay attention that the spring does not bounce out on us. So we're still holding some form of pressure. So I don't want to completely remove, remove these because when this remove these bolts are still going to hold the shaft in place. If I remove this and try to remove these bolts where pressure is applied, at the end it's going to pull the aluminum threads out. So we want to remove these first. And now we have some relief where we could practically get the spring on the tool out. But what is best to do is to remove this. Let's get this out of the way so we could replace our last valve stem seal. Just want to get this seal out of here. This we might find a little challenging, but we have to assemble everything back together with this wrench on top of the retainer. Now when we compress this spring, we want to make sure we don't bend the valve stem. So this is going to require a lot of skill. If you're skillful enough, you could practically replace all the valve stem seal with this method. I've been messing with this a little while, trying to adjust the wrench so the edge of the retainer sits right under here on the underside of the wrench because when I compress the wrench I don't want it to hit the valve stem. So I want to hold this in like this. one of the valve keeper in I'm sitting the other one in and let's see the two of them are together the spring is in place 
You're gonna have to take some skills and care doing this part. I practically did it in 20 minutes. You're gonna have to lower the vehicle and hang over the radiator. It's gonna get uncomfortable, but we are now successful with replacing all the valve stem seal. You will not have to use this method on the right side valve cover because you don't have the brake booster in the way. And to tell you the truth, you could really get away with using the wrench and the rocker arm pedestal bar to do all the valve stem steel instead of buying the universal valve spring compressor tool. We have shown you the professional way and the non-professional way which both get it fin get the job finished and what we want to do is we just want to make sure we pop our valve so it's seal with its valve seal and its valve seat